panel for 17.0 is the Spanch Station Panel. This panel takes information from the Spanch website and presents it in an Elite Dangerous Discovery panel. Click on the selector Spanch button to launch the panel. The panel allows you to find out what stations are available in a system as you jump between systems. The panel by default tracks the history panel cursor position. Moving it around your history will cause the panel to update. It will then show you the knowledge that Spanch has for the current system you're in, which in my case is Sharif. Spanch's knowledge of stations is provided by commanders using the EDDN network to contribute data. It may not be perfect, it may be out of date. Please make sure you contribute to the EDDN network by clicking on the send event information to EDDN button in your commander's setting options dialog. The panel grid lists the stations known to Spanch and the information it has about the stations. You can sort the order of presentation by clicking on a column heading. Some of the columns may be empty because Spanch does not know about that particular data item. For instance here you can see that Hawks Town station is missing knowledge of faction and economy information. Visit the station and contribute to EDDN to update the community knowledge of the station. From the grid left the grid shows the body name, the station name and the light second distance from the star. It lists the outpost type and the latitude and longitude if it's on a body. The market column indicates if the station has a market and how old Spanch's knowledge of the station data is. Yukovic Gateway, for instance, is 28.6 days out of date. Similarly for outfitting in shipyard, the grid lists if the station has those services and how old the data is. Double clicking on the market the outfitting or shipyard cells pops up an overlay with detailed data. You can also right click on a station to bring up options to see the station on Spanch or open the detailed panels. Allegiance, faction, economy, government and service data is presented if known. You can hover over the services to see the list in full or use the word wrap button at the top to expand all the cells. Filtering. You can use the buttons along the filter line to filter out stations. You can do it by station type, commodities to buy or sell, services available, economy type, ships available or outfitting modules available. Click on the filter and select either disable, don't filter on this, or a set of items to filter on. You can also filter by max distance from the star. You can add up to three commodities to the grid to show either their buy or sell prices. Click on the commodity show item and select up to three items and click on buy or sell selector. Click on show. Once shown you can hover over the commodity to see its full sell or buy price. You can find station information from any system. Click on the system name box and start typing. Hit return to select the system. The panel will then query Spanch and update with station information if it's available from that system. To go back to normal operation where it tracks history, hit the home button. The panel also allows you to search across systems for commodities, services, ships, etc. The first button searches for commodities either to sell to the station or to buy from the station. You can specify the max distance in light years away to search. If you need a large pad to land your ship on, if you want to include carriers and if you want your filters set up 
to be cleared, which is the normal way you operate it. Click on a item, click on show, and it will search, spanch, and then show the results. The column system and light years to it will be added so you know how far away the system is. Also added for a commodity search are the commodities that you search for, up to three of them. Since we are trying to buy the commodity, it will show the item and the stock level. You can also search for service types, for economy types, for ships, and for outfitting items. The final button on the screen allows you to output to Excel the contents of the current view. You may want to change a panel in the history tab to include the Spanch station data. To do this, Hover over the title bar of a panel and change its type. Here we will change it to stations in the system from Spanch web data. Once selected, reconfigure the panel and remove any columns that you're not interested in seeing. Here I've reconfigured it using the station filter and the column selector to show only major starports in the system. As I move the cursor through history the Spanch station panel will update when I change systems. I hope you enjoy this new feature of EDD 17.0 and find great use from it. Thank you for watching the video. Check out our YouTube channel for other videos showing how to configure and use other aspects of this program. So for now I say bye bye and fly safe commanders.